Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can improve the contrast of an image. So two methods that we will discuss is the histogram equalization technique and a contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization technique. So this is what actually I want to achieve uh, once we select a blurred image and then I apply the histogram equalization and this is what the actual output we receive. And uh, we can also do the uh, contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization and this is how we can get the result. So how we can implement them, let's see in this tutorial. I have already configured this project and I'm using MGUCV 4.2. You can check uh, video number 34 for its configuration. Let me add a submenu item into my previously created histogram and just call it uh, equalization so gram equalization and also another method that I'm going to show you is CLAHE so double click on this histogram equalization and then let us see how we can do that the first thing that I will always do is to create an exception so message box if here is an exception, we can show a message box message. And I need to make sure that some uh, picture has been already selected. So here, picture box dot image equal equal null. So we can return. Otherwise, we can read that value into my image. So ing is equal to new with name picture box one dot image. And also, I need to convert it into uh, an EMG UCV structure. So I just hey, maybe I need a gray image. Okay, so byte. You can do the same thing for the color image. It doesn't matter. In that case, you will have three gray images. So you can think like that. And I want to store the result in uh, in a variable of type image. So I just call it histogram equalization and now I can use cv invoke dot equalize histogram method and this one is expecting the source image so source image is my img and the output variable that object that is expecting is the histogram equalization so that's it and once we have it we can display it in picture box dot image is equal to histogram equalization dot with me and uh, we can also I am going to add it into my image so let me convert into histogram equalization dot to image btr comma byte And uh, I can give it a name, histo, histogram equalization. This is just to show in my tree view. So this is the histogram equalization. And another method, let me implement CLAHE. I am just going to copy the same code into my this. And here, instead of calling this equalization, I can use CLAHE method, which has already been implemented. The input image that I have is IMG. And this one is, what is the clip limit that you want to use? The default is 40. I'm just using the clip limit to be 50. You need to look at the implementation or the theory of the how it is working. So I'm just putting the parameters. And the default parameter can, uh, assumes 8 by 8 grid, so I'm just using the same. And the destination where we want the output to be, I just call it the output instead of CE, I'm just going to rename it. Okay. And also write it as an output, and also we can write it as and this one is uh, histo contrast CLAHE. 
Okay, so that's it. So let us run the application and see how we improved the contrast of the image or not. So let me open an image. And if there is an image with low contrast, I will select that image for better understanding. So you can you can see that it is it has very low contrast. So I'm going to use this histogram equalization. Now you can see that it has distributed the histogram or pixel values and the contrast is much better. And if I do the CLAHE and now you can see this is the result of CLAHE and you can change the parameters to see which one gives you the optimal results. But the of course the contrast is much better in both cases and, and in my opinion this is much better than CLAHE. And as I said, you need to change, play with the parameters in order to see which one is giving you a better result. So we can use it as a pre-processing step or if our image has some sort of less contrast. Okay, thank you for watching this short video and hope to see you in another video.